hello, VIP Kid community. So I want to share with you my experience yesterday. Um, if you are in any of the groups that I'm in, the VIP Kid Christians, or I may have posted on the mom site, but I think I just posted on the Christian site. I had an interview yesterday, a phone interview. Now, I don't want to quit VIP Kid ever, really, but I was thinking about continuing my education and getting my teaching certificate at the least, at least getting my teaching certificate. But the funny thing happened. Before it ever happened, I prayed, and I was like, look, I didn't say look, I said, please lead me into where this is going. If this needs to be a step that I take now or maybe hold off on, or if it's not even a step at all, please just steer me another way. So going through the phone process, I hear the interviewer and everything he's saying about teaching and the passion he has, everything is lining up with exactly how I feel. And I'm like, yes, yes, because it's the same stuff I feel with the VIP kid. But then when the actual interview took place and then the explanation afterwards of everything that I would need to do took place, then I started, I started like shrinking in my chair and I was like, oh my, the time that would be taken away from my children right now at this moment, my children are only two year. I have a two year old and then I have three year old twins that are about to be four. And the more that he was talking, he was amazing, but the more he was talking, I was like, whoa, that is so much time taken away from my kids right now that I'm not willing to give up if that's not meant to be. And so the more and more and the more questions I asked and the more I received, I was so interested in, in the aspect of teaching, but the actual, the actual schedule, I was like, I can't, not right now. That's not that I have a strong feeling that's not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I told him, thank you. And I asked him, what are my next steps if I want to hold off? And he even told me, he said, I completely understand and that I could continue next year and come back next year. So I, so that'll still be in the back of my head, but I, it just made me appreciate more this job because right now in this season of my life, I really have a strong feeling that I'm supposed to be with my children right now, but still being able to teach. So it just reiterated, it reignited my fire for this company. And I was like, thank you. Seriously, thank you to all those who created this company because that's time that I can't ever get back with my kids ever. I, if, if I were to teach, I would have to be gone from at least eight to 2.30. And if you're a teacher, you know, it's more than that. It's gonna be more than that in the morning. It's gonna be more than that in the afternoon. That's prepping, that's everything, so much more. So like I, I even have, I, I have issues with scheduling my time, my 30 minutes or an hour to prep for VIP kid classes just for my own sake. And I don't even have to if I don't want to, but I do. So I, I know that it would take even more time to be a brick and mortar teacher. So just going through that, I was so thankful for this job. And I'm just like, it just opened my eyes even more. I was like, whew. If I'm meant to do that one day, maybe, you know, if, if they're meant to go to school and I'm not supposed to homeschool, then that be. But if I'm supposed to homeschool, hey, I'll just maybe ha have some more hours in with the VIP kid and do it that way. I'm leaving it in his hands. So I just kind of wanted to share with you what happened. And a funny thing, it feels so strange having, this is the question I had in the interview. What would you bring to the table? Talking about brick and mortar teaching. And I didn't expect that question and it took me, I sat there and I was like, what would I bring to the table? I, I know the things that I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about teaching, I'm passionate about connecting community, but when I was asked what would I bring to the table, I automatically, I'm like, I don't know yet. I would have to be in the field and figure it out myself because I haven't taught in an actual classroom. So I don't know what I would bring to the table yet. I just know what I'm passionate about and what I want to do. I want to help. I want to help students succeed. I want to connect other teachers and connect community. But when I was asked, what would I bring to the table? It just really threw me off. I was like, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. So it's just funny how different questions and interviews can really throw you off and get you thinking because I don't want, I also didn't, I didn't feel comfortable talking about myself, like what, how great I would be because I still have, I even told him, I said, I have learning, I have learning to do because I do from actual teachers if I was going to teach in a brick and mortar school. So I don't want to come in and say, Hey, I could do this, this and that because I don't know if I can, and I have to learn still. So 
Um, so that just really threw me off. So let me know below if you're a brick and mortar teacher, brick and mortar teacher, and you're with VIP Kid, you're doing both. And if you if you think you balance it really well, let me know your tips because in the future, if my kids go to a brick and mortar school, I'd like to know maybe what I'm getting into before I even get into a residency to become a teacher. Happy teaching.